Hey guys, this is Jeff with Bauer and Sons in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And I want to cover four quick types of metal because you need to know this. Number one, this is what you would find on the average pole barn. A lot of people are using this on homes as well and parallel rib or standard panel and it typically comes in a three foot wide section and it's going to have these little extra lines in it right here and one question we get all the time do you put the screw in the flat part or in the ribbed part right here you don't put the screw in this rib because it will smush it down their screws go in here every single panel now this panel right here is called the elite rib and it has a little bit of a thinner profile it's also going to have these lines in it and it's going to also cover a 36 inch wide panel if you notice the difference this one has a matte finish and you can also get this in a matte finish but in the matte finish it helps to cut the glare it, it cuts the sheen so this is a gaining popularity on roofing projects these two are your major upgrades let's start here this is what is known as a standing seam or hidden fastener it is based on an old technique that you'll find on uh, buildings back in the 1800s where the metal was just folded over what makes these classier is you do not see the screws so the screws are not going on the outside there's a clip system right here and this is only going to be coming in a 16 inch wide panel but it's definitely going to upgrade the look of your building and then for those of you that want a board and batten which you would use with wood they recreated the board and batten look with a metal panel now this is a thin coverage if you notice here it's only going to be a 10 inch wide coverage so they'll get a little flimsy if you're running very very long panels of them however if you live in the woods or you have a lot of trees or you're out in the country and you want that board and batten look this is a far superior product because it's metal and metal is always going to outlast wood so these are the four different options and um, you got to think it through this is your basic and then as you're stepping up you're going to go in different price categories but hopefully that's helpful